In this video I'm going to show you how you can do some handwritten animation in Procreate. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch artist. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can do some handwritten animation in Procreate using the eraser. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is open up a new canvas. And I want it to be in HD video and I've already uh, made a custom uh, size of it which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Then I'm going to change the background. You can do that by pressing on the background and then choose color. It doesn't really matter because in this animation we're going to throw away the background so you just keep an animation with a PNG with an alpha channel. Now uh, I need to type in the text first. You have to go to the actions tab, add, and then tap on add text. And here you can type in the text you want. And I just wanted to have uh, uh, an animation of the text. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. So I'm just gonna type that in. Now you can type on edit style because I need another font for this and another color. If you wanna change the color in a text, just tap on the color menu and I want it to be white. So I just select white. And if you want to go back to edit uh, style, just press on the A in the layer and then you can, you know, select edit text. So then you're back in the menu again. The first thing you need to do is choose a font because I don't like this font. And, you know, it all depends on uh, the style you choose and the design and also the attributes. So first you need to uh, find the right font and I want something of a written font, but not, you know, handwritten. So you can just, you know, check them out. Don't like this one. Maybe Bradley Hand. Yeah, that's a fun font. You now you can change the the size. You can also change it with the handles. So you have a little bit more, you know, space between them because I want drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. Want it to be a little bit more in the middle. Just tap on done. Now you can select the text, you know, and have it in the middle of your um, screen. And I also want to have some um, drop shadow, but a very strong drop shadow because I'm going to use this text and this animation of the text on top of video. So you never know, you know, what uh, elements are in the video. So it's always, you know, good practice to have some drop shadow. So I'm going to duplicate this and deselect this one and select edit text again. And then I'm going to choose a different color, which is a lot darker. And now I have to change because now you don't see anything because it's underneath it. And you know, you can move your uh, image around by just tapping outside of the box. And then you can make more precise moves in, in Procreate. So I like this and now I'm going to merge these two together because this text we're going to use to make the animation. So I'm just going to merge it down. And now it's not an editable text anymore because it's now a pixel uh, layer, but we need that. Uh, I can throw away this one. Um, what I'm now going to do is make the animation and we're going to 
uh, use the eraser and we have to erase everything from the back to the front. So it's a reverse animation. Procreate 4 video manual. Do you want to learn everything about drawing and painting in Procreate 4? You can with the Procreate 4 video manual on Apple Books. It's an ebook with interactive images and two and a half hours of video tutorials explaining every feature in Procreate 4. The book is updated to Procreate 4.3 and all the updates within Procreate 4 will be for free. The ebook also has a search option, so if you're looking for something, just type it in and go straight to the explanation of the feature you're looking for. Get the Procreate 4 video manual now for only $9.99 and learn everything about this great drawing app. So this is the end frame and now we're going to uh, work our way back to the first letter of the sentence. So this one is uh, the last frame and it's going to be the last layer and that's going to be the top layer because in Procreate, the first layer is the first keyframe in your animation. So we're just going to duplicate it and then drag it underneath so that this final layer always stays intact. I'm going to deselect this and I'm just going to find a, a nice eraser and I'm just going to choose one of the erasers from the ink set. Uh, let me see where it is. Inking and maybe the uh, technical pen. And now you can start doing your animation and you have to consider on how you write a text like this. When you make this exclamation mark, um, when you draw it, you know, straight away, you first do this and then uh, you create the, the dot. So now you have to think in reverse. So the dot needs to go first and then, you know, the um, vertical line of the exclamation mark. So we're first going to uh, erase the dot. And, you know, set it to 100%. So this is the first frame. Now we are going to um, duplicate it again, drag it underneath, and then we're going to erase this. And then you have to, you know, keep on doing the same thing over and over again. The T is an interesting thing because when you write a T, you first write this thing and then the vertical stripe. So first what we need to um, erase is the, the, the horizontal stripe because that's the last you paint. So you always have to think in reverse. and you have to select the layer you're working on and you have to make this work a little and then duplicate it again underneath select only this layer now you can erase the entire t and you have to just keep keep on doing this until you have finished the entire sentence and you can you know check out if you have enough uh, layers to work with uh, you can check that out by going to canvas and then tap on canvas information and here you see it's 1920 by 1080 pixels at 132 dpi layers used five and you can use the maximum layers you can use in this image is 128.
So now I've finished the entire animation and it's 128 uh, frames long. And this is the first layer we started out with and I have deleted the background. And you know, what we now can do is uh, see if all of the frames are selected and you can do that by pressing on the layers and press on it again. And well, these aren't selected. And now you can make an animation out of it. And what I'm going to do is uh, select share and then you can share your layers but i'm not going to uh, i'm just going to show you the animation what it looks like and here you see that um, it is written from beginning to end and it's at 25 frames per second i want to save this animation as png files so I'm going to select PNG files and then it's going to save the animation in separate PNG files and you can um, import those in Adobe Premiere and I'm just going to show you but first uh, I need to save it and I'm going to save it to my MacBook, to my Mac Pro or my MacBook Pro and now all these files are saved to my computer and then I can use it in Adobe Premiere and make an animation on top of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles! Procreate 4 Video Manual Do you want to learn everything about drawing and painting in Procreate 4? You can with the Procreate 4 Video Manual on Apple Books. If you don't have Apple Books in your country, you can also buy Procreate 4 Video Manual on Vimeo On Demand. Get the Procreate 4 video manual now for only $9.99 and learn everything about this great drawing app.